57 grams for Yimi. Tacos getting cold, so we take it to the crib. Television magic. Got just where well we sit. Hello there, my name is Chai. Welcome to my channel. So, in this one, in the week, going to try counting my calories for the entire week and I figured that this week will be the best week to do it because I think maybe half of the time I'll be eating out and half of the time I'll be staying at home. I'm really just doing this for myself and out of curiosity. I hope y'all enjoy the video and right now I'm actually waiting for my boyfriend to fetch me because we're going to go visit the cafe again and I'm really hungry and I need my coffee fix because I am... I just didn't sleep very well yesterday. So yeah, see y'all. So for brunch, we had baked eggs with sourdough toast and I believe in some places they also call this a shakshuka as well as this creamy concoction of vegetables, prawns and soft boiled eggs and of course my customary cup of latte whenever we visit a cafe Honestly, this creamy thing was pretty disappointing because we initially thought it was going to be spaghetti but turns out there wasn't a single string of noodle inside so we decided to get more toast because we just didn't feel very full and after that we also got this taro milk tea with grass jelly from Gongcha. For dinner we wanted something a little bit refreshing and less greasy because we both literally had a food coma after brunch so we decided to try out this sushi place that didn't seem too expensive and for its price the sushi ended up tasting really good. Me and my boyfriend both love the sushi with avocado on it, so if you haven't tried avocado on sushi, I highly recommend you to go try it. Ooh, oh my god, look at this, it's so cute. Wow, this is actually a pretty cool profile picture if it's actually under sunlight. This is also so good, I think you like the cucumber more like this one. Mm. I don't even eat the tamago that's a hint of food to it. Shit, I don't even remember how many I eat. Three. Three now I eat. Three tamago and two. I just realized it's so difficult. So as you can see, counting my calories today was definitely quite challenging. Even when I used to be more conscious about calories, I always only made a rough estimate on what I ate. But since I was legit tracking my calories this week, I definitely do see how much dedication and meticulousness is needed if someone is committed to tracking their calories. Because you actually have to remember every single thing you put into your mouth in order to make an accurate calculation. So after this week, I definitely had a newfound respect for people who consistently track their calories. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, so good morning my friends. So today is day 2 and I just want to say that tracking my calories when I'm eating out is actually a lot more harder than I thought and I tried to figure out my fitness pal just now first thing that I woke up and I took half an hour to actually lock in my food and I'm actually not really done so hopefully you all forgive me. I'm trying my best to estimate as close as possible to what I actually ate but anyways I think I'll do a better job today because I'm eating at home and I can you know, measure all the ingredients that I use and this is my first cup of calorie today which is the coffee that I usually drink every morning so yeah have a happy morning and I hope you all enjoy the rest of my video 23 grams of banana 39 grams of pear so yeah that's how this entire week went whenever I made my own food at home I would measure every single thing and key it into my fitness pal well, except for seasonings like soy sauce and sesame oil because, let's face it, I don't think anyone actually measures how much they are using those kind of things whenever they cook so for fairness, I did tend to overestimate a little bit of whatever seasoning I'm using because I think we all tend to underestimate rather than overestimate these sort of things I am here with a snack because I still feel super duper hungry even after lunch because I forgot to put chicken into my fried rice so yeah, these are super duper juicy, very tasty
But one thing I was quite surprised with is that this watan ho I had for dinner was a lot less calories than I expected because I was always under the impression that takeout food had a lot more calories than home cooked food. But, but if my fitness pal is actually right, this watan ho that I always somehow felt guilty for eating isn't actually as high calorie as I thought it would actually, be. Whenever I'm recording my phone, I just talk. And if that's the case, maybe all this guilt and fear I used to have over takeout food might not even be necessary at all. Wow, so sweet, but I kind of like it. So sweet. Please excuse the construction noise, but I wanted to put milk into my coffee this morning, but I just feel kind of bloated after drinking Milo at night, so I guess I won't put any milk. So today's coffee is technically zero calories, so yep. So I think having supper at night yesterday really messed up with my appetite a little bit today because I wasn't actually very hungry throughout the day and I only really felt hungry during dinner time. So I'm sincerely sorry if you're here for the food inspo because for this entire day I essentially just had toast, some fruits and a piece of chocolate and some noodles. But I promise there'll be more food coming your way in the next few days. Yeah, so I can I can eat this while I'm studying. Smart, right? I don't know if the calorie counter is very accurate, but it looks like eaten very little calories today. And I feel like seeing the small number is kind of like messing with my brain because I kind of feel like I have allowance to eat more. Hence, I feel hungry because usually after dinner I just eat a bit of fruits and that's it, and I'll feel satisfied. But for some reason. Today I just feel like eating something and I feel like it's because the number on that app is messing with my head. So yeah. Yeah, I guess after years of restricting myself, a part of me still feels like I need permission to eat, but that doesn't make me a bad person. For the past year, health has meant a lot of things to me. At one point it meant not restricting at all and eating everything I want. If I was scared of gaining weight, it meant that I didn't love myself. But throughout this week, I do see the benefits of counting calories. It might be a pain to measure every single thing I eat, but it definitely gave me a lot more awareness of the amount of food I was consuming. While I can still eat everything I want, self-love to me now also means practicing a bit of moderation as a sign of respecting my body. But when I say moderation, it doesn't mean eating according to my recommended calories every day. Okay guys. So I'm going to go for a haircut and I'm going to get a perm and I was in a rush so I didn't vlog this but you will see me with new hair after this. I'm super excited but also very nervous but I'll see y'all later. Bye! And yep, here's my new hair! So now, I want to share a little bit about what being healthy means to me at this current moment. Health to me now means being able to use this knowledge to make healthier choices but at the same time knowing that it's totally okay to not want to follow these guidelines all the time. It's very tender though. Uh, this chicken is damn good. While I know that the dishes that I like may not be the most calorie friendly, it isn't going to stop me from ordering them because I know food is meant to be enjoyed and I'm allowed to eat the things that I like. It also means no longer thinking about exercise as a way to earn my dessert or that I have to eat less the next day to compensate for it because there's really more to life than just aiming to burn all the calories you consume every day. also meant no longer being scared of putting extra sesame oil in my noodles, adding peanut butter into my smoothies, or eating granola that's not sugar-free because it's okay to want my food to taste better, even when it's not as low calorie as possible. This smoothie bowl is so freaking sweet. I didn't even add any sweeteners in 
Healthy also meant that I stopped comparing my food choices to other people. It's okay that I want 3 scoops of curry while my mom only wants 2. Eating more calories doesn't make me a bad person or her a better person. It just means that everyone has different preferences when it comes to food. And lastly, I no longer get so annoyed and angry when I eat terrible food. My first thought is no longer, oh my god, I just wasted my calories on this horrible fish ball or dry AF cake. But now my thoughts go more like, oh I guess I better find another place to get better fish balls and cakes. I know it sounds so silly, but it's really funny how I used to get so worked up on all these tiny things but I made it my daily goal to eat the least amount of calories as possible. Even though I was always curious about how many calories I ate, I always put off counting calories because I thought I would fear the numbers I see. But this week made me realize just how much progress I've made when it comes to improving my relationship with food and my body. I'm able to enjoy food while still wanting to be healthy. And while I now have a better understanding of calories and macros, I'm also able to look beyond those things and appreciate all the good memories I've shared with friends and family over a nice meal. My mindset is no longer so black and white, and that's more than I can ever ask for.